Hi everybody, it's day six of my cheek piercing. And if you wait a minute, I'm going to turn on some music. I'm actually going to move away from the door. Because once again, sorry, it's probably really weird. Once again, I am in my bathroom. Of course. Um, but even if I get interrupted this time, I'm not going to stop the video. I'm just going to yell at the door. So excuse me if you hear me yelling. But I'm going to find some music and hope it doesn't blare too loud real quick. Because, I don't know, I'm sick of talking in silence. <sighs> iTunes will just open. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, choices, choices, choices. What do I want to listen to? Um, Jeez. Anyway, I guess while I'm searching for music, I will start talking about my piercing. So today's day six of my cheek, and um, tomorrow I'll have had it for a week. It's healing well now that I've got the right bars and stuff in it. Um, today I have definitely noticed leakage starting. Um, like it'll crust, and then when I clean that off and stuff, and there'll be like some clear liquid, which sounds really gross, I know, but... I'm gonna tell you guys the truth, even if it makes me sound icky. I'm still looking for what to listen to. This is awful. Bleh. Um. But yeah, I've been cleaning it like every hour or two um, with saline solution and Q-tips, and it really, really does help. Otherwise, you get this crust build up, and then when it like the bar pushes back in your cheek, it's like broken glass shoving into your cheek, and. Um, I haven't had too much of that with this piercing. I had that mostly with my snake bites. Um, but this piercing hasn't really caused me a lot of pain after, you know, I got the right bars and stuff put in. Oh, man, this is going to be awful. What do I want to listen to? I think this whole video is probably just going to be me searching for something to listen to. I'll listen to this. Oh, it's going to be loud. No, it's not. No, not too loud. I listen to the Pixies because it's what I want to listen to. Anyway, um, and that's loud. So, but yeah, it's doing well. The bar sticks out a lot more, um, which is definitely good because it means the swelling is going down. Most of the swelling is actually on the inside. So as you can see, it doesn't look very swollen on the outside. Um, hear my mom yelling. Um, I have my own house in a few months, so videos will be much less less interrupted. Unless Caleb decides to like run through the video, which he may. So I'm already asking your forgiveness for future videos. Um, but yeah, so that's day six, and then I've been getting some messages with some questions, and I've picked out. The questions that I get most often, um, my first question was when, uh, yeah, I have them written on my arm, just, that's me. Um, my first question was when did I start my piercings? Um, I got my first lobes done when I was three. My mom used to work at Claire's um, a long time ago. She was the district manager in the Chicago area, and uh, so she pierced my ears then, and then I got my second ones done when I was 11 and my first set of cartilages done when I was a freshman and then um, I pierced my friend's ears because my mom taught me how and then I got more so my ear piercings are my first ones and then my snake bites I got um, I wanted to get them on my 18th birthday but I promised my mom I'd wait till after graduation so I got them on June 7th yeah around there um, and then November of that year, yeah, I got my angel bites, my first ones that were up here, and then, what, get next, and then probably in January of this year, I pierced my philtrum, or my medusa, um, and then probably, and then in April, sometime in April, I got my septum done. And then about three weeks ago, I got my anti-eyebrow done. 
and then almost a week ago I got this done. So it most of it like happened this year, but I knew which facial piercings I wanted and I always knew what ones I was going to get, so I got them and that was that. Um, but yeah, I started either when I was three. I've been stretching these all through high school though. So these and the second one, these. And the second ones I've been stretching. I had these up to a four, but then I took them out for a speech competition and they shrank back down. So, growing them again. Um, my next one was how many do I have? I have 12 in my ears. Um, eight on my face. So that's 20. I used to have another one on this ear. And then I had two angel bites appear. I've had my nose pierced twice, once the beginning of my senior year and once um, in February, and it neither of them really worked out, so I retired both of those. So I've retired one ear piercing, old angel bites, and two nose piercings. So, but yeah, I have 20. Um, I get lots of questions about how badly they hurt. Um, they are needles going through your face, so they do hurt. I am a needle phobe, whether you believe me or not. I am absolutely terrified of, like, uh, syringes and stuff. Um, I just am. I even still get the pretty piercing jitters. But um, I did my septum, my own, and that one hurt. It was the only one I had trouble with and stuff. Um, not super bad though. This one didn't hurt at all. Like there was no pain, and even afterwards, even now, like I can like poke it and it doesn't hurt. It just bruised. You can still see a bit of my black eye. Um, this one hurt afterwards just because I had to change the bar twice while it was still fresh and move around and stuff, but other than that, these didn't hurt too bad, and then I was surprised at how little this hurt, and then this one didn't hurt me at all. I was too busy concentrating. Um, and my other one was, how long did they take to heal? I went and I got my snake bites pierced, and the lady said it would take 12 weeks to heal. I got them pierced the day after my boyfriend, oh, he's now my fiance, left for boot camp. And he would have been at boot camp for 12 weeks, so these would take 12 weeks, so it was kind of like my timer. But didn't take that long. Um, these new angel bites uh, are probably... Yeah, I, by the way, I meant to say that earlier. I moved my angel bites um, probably about a month and a half ago. So my new angel bites are only like four or five weeks old, and they're healed and tough. Um, this one's feeling tough, but sometimes it still gets annoyed. Um, this one healed really fast, my Medusa. But yeah, mostly it about six weeks, if they're taken care of well, they'll heal really well, but it really depends on the piercing, depends on the person, how you take care of it, what kind of medicine you use, vitamins, um, and attitude. Attitude's important, too. Um, and my last, yeah. It was all my questions. Uh, my other one was, am I planning on getting any more piercings? I was going to get a dermal spine at this body expo this weekend, next weekend, but I'm not going to do that anymore. Instead, I'm getting this rib piece. Um, but no, I don't plan on getting any more piercings. I knew what ones I wanted going in. If I do get another, it'll be a vertical labrette in the center. Maybe someday I'll even out my cheeks. But right now, I'm done with piercings. I knew what I wanted going in, and I got them, and I'm done. Um, the most interesting thing that happened to me today was sad. Um, my mom does home daycare, and I just found out that my favorite little boy isn't coming anymore after three weeks because his mom's quitting her job. So that was heartbreaking because he's my baby, and he's so ornery and so naughty and so evil, and I love him. Um, so that's just sad, interesting, but other than that, it's been a boring day. Alright, I don't really have anything else to say. So I'll let you go after this nine minute video. <laughs> Bye. I can get my